Cafe Shakerado is a classic summer espresso drink that is normally non-alcoholic, and it was recently featured on one of my favorite YouTube channels, James Hoffman. If you have any interest in coffee or espresso, you need to be subscribed to his channel, but this episode got me thinking, what if there was an alcoholic version of this? I've been getting into espresso a lot recently and often go down to my local fills here in San Francisco and pick up a delicious smelling bag. Can we do something a little more interesting than your basic espresso martini for a summer coffee cocktail? And what about a chemist version of the Shakerado? But let's start with the classic. I'm gonna use one of my absolute favorite coffee cocktail ingredients, this Mr. Black coffee liqueur. More on them later. Grab yourself a shaker glass and we're gonna start with one ounce or 30 mils of Mr. Black. We're gonna pair that with the wonderful Amaro Averna, which is bittersweet with a bit of a caramel flavor, a little bit of citrus. It's just excellent and pairs really well with coffee. Another one ounce or 30 mils. Next, a very important ingredient, our shot of espresso. Here I'm using a medium blend from Phil's, the Tesoro blend, and we're gonna do one and a half ounces or 45 mils. Now in his video, James adds a bit of saline solution, which is basically salt water, which is a great addition because it can temper bitterness and enhance some sweetness. Here I'm just gonna use a small pinch of salt. Now we're gonna shake this with ice for about 15 seconds to chill and dilute it, but more importantly, whip a lot of that froth from the espresso into the drink. So I'm gonna use a chilled coupe glass here and double strain the cocktail to catch any bits of ice chips, and we should get a nice head of foam on top, a bit of a Guinness beer cascade effect. And this is optional, but I think it's a wonderful addition to add a twist of lemon to brighten up the drink and add some of those citrus notes. All right, let's give it a taste, our boozy shakerado, and right away you get that lemon on the nose, and wow, this is a wonderful drink. I mean, there's a lot of intense coffee flavors going on here. We have espresso, coffee liqueur, we also have the bittersweet Amaro, but on a hot summer afternoon, this would be really lovely, and that lemon really does brighten it up. Highly recommend it. We're using a relatively approachable Amaro here that I think complements the coffee really well, but if you don't have a bitter palate, I would pair that back. All right, for our chemist version, I'm gonna try to turn the foam up to 11. And I have a feeling it's gonna be amazing. If not, it'll at least be fun to watch. So just like in James's video, we're gonna use a whipping siphon. Here I have one from EC. And I have a boatload of these nitrous oxide chargers, which are only for professional use, please. And we're gonna start by adding our espresso into the siphon itself, but we're gonna pair it back to one ounce or 30 mils. And it wouldn't be a coffee cocktail without the wonderful Mr. Black coffee liqueur, three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils into the whipper. And instead of Amaro, I'm gonna add a hazelnut liqueur from Frangelico. And I think we know this is gonna work pretty well with coffee. One half ounce or 15 mils. We're gonna bring this cocktail up to a proper ABV by adding in one ounce or 30 mils of bourbon. Next, I'm gonna add in about four ice cubes to chill this down because we're gonna add in some egg white, about one ounce or the egg white of one large egg. So we want the contents cool first so we don't cook the egg. Then we're gonna add in one nitrous oxide charger, screw that on, and it should be a nice satisfying hiss sound. Then we're gonna shake to chill and dilute it, and we're also dispersing a lot of nitrous oxide gas into the liquid to create that foam. To make enough space for the foam, I'm gonna use a brandy snifter with a large ice cube, and then we're just gonna empty that whipping siphon into the glass. And my God, that is the most foam of any cocktail I've ever made. The egg white acts as a stabilizer to ensure the foam doesn't just immediately dissipate, and you get a little bit of that cocktail now forming at the bottom. Let's give it a taste, our chemist shakerado. <laughs> Whoa, that is wild. First and most important, the flavor is awesome. The hazelnut complements the coffee really well. It's just the right amount of sweetness. But really, the foam, is it necessary? No, is it over the top? Yes, it's not super practical, but it's fun, and that's what cocktail should be about. Since this foam was so well stabilized and wasn't dying down, I eventually threw in a little sippy cylinder, which I found was also good for spooning out some of that foam and pairing it with sips here and there. But if you got a whipping siphon, give this technique a try. Today's cocktails were made possible by one of my favorite sponsors, Mr. Black Coffee Liqueur. There are several reasons why I love these guys. First, they are both coffee roasters and distillers, and they make their juice from top grade coffee, 100% Arabica coffee beans. It's also vodka based, which really lets the coffee shine through, but why should you care? I mean, ultimately it's because it tastes incredible. There are no artificial ingredients and I honestly just find myself drinking it straight or maybe on the rocks. I mean, the aroma is fantastic and it's less sweet than other coffee liqueurs, which makes it great in cocktails. 
It's not just me who loves this stuff. I mean, there's a reason you see it in the world's best bars and restaurants like Dante, the Nomad Hotel, and the Savoy in London. If you want to see more recipes, go check out their YouTube channel. They just launched it. It's dope. And go to their shop, mrblack.co, and use my code COCKTAILCHEM10 to get 10% off your order. And there you'll also find limited editions and swag that you can only find on their shop. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you want to see more cocktails with coffee liqueur or coffee, I'll put a few on screen here. And uh, let me know what other classic verse chemist series you want to see next.